it happens to be Father's Day 2019 and this is the dish with one spoon medicine wheel man in the maze indigenous labyrinth and so I started this four years ago and I wasn't able to finish it. We're in Wells Hill Park in Midtown Toronto. So this outline is four years old and I wasn't able to finish it because I ended up going to Vancouver and now I'm back. Oh, you ate it? Yay! <laughs> That's all part of the story. <laughs> so here we are. So in recent weekends and time I was able to get, I finished painting the black lines, the red, it didn't exactly match the red, but nothing's perfect. Life is life. But it's red. Different reds. So there's the medicine wheel. And it represents different seasons, different elements, different peoples from around the earth. Many, many meanings. Not all indigenous people share the exact same meaning and use and understanding and wisdom. But they are, it is, the medicine wheel is common. The ordering of the colors is not uh, universal. As long as the four colors are in the circle, that, um, to the best of my ability, is uh, acceptable and understood. Here, and even though I often, almost never cross the lines, unless I'm walking the labyrinth, I have been doing that. This is the dish with one spoon. It's a representation of a wampum belt that was a treaty and understanding between the five and then six nations that are indigenous to this territory. The idea of the dish is that the indigenous people, the five and then six nations uh, that are here in southern Ontario, upstate New York, they would eat from the same single dish with a wooden spoon and they would not use a knife. The idea was as long as they didn't accidentally cut one another by using a knife um, and they were eating from the same dish that it was an idea that they were sharing the territory uh, amongst themselves and then for all the people who would come after. And that includes me and perhaps you who, who are watching this right now. And here in Midtown Toronto, which was originally Tikaronto, T-K-A-R-O-N-T-O, which would mean trees standing in water. Um, so here, this dish with one spoon, it had white shells with purple shells and they were tied together into a wampum belt. So this is, um, it's a symbolic uh, representation of the wampum belt, which uh, the dish with one spoon wampum belt, which is in the Royal Ontario Museum at this time, the original one. So that is the dish with one spoon. We have the medicine wheel. And over here, uh, so, I didn't exactly know what I'm going to put in here. This is pie. This is a triangle sliver of, uh, of the circle uh, that I have. It's my innovation, my contribution to the design of labyrinths, uh, this pie. And uh, here, it's a representation of the man in the maze. With the First Nations, the uh, indigenous peoples of the American Southwest, in their theology, they have an idea that in the maze, 
there is Lee Toy, and Lee Toy uh, is a representation of uh, Big Brother. So one would uh, enter the maze, the labyrinth, and that would be from the material world going to the spiritual world. And you would have Lee Toy, um, perhaps over watching you, um, looking after you, looking over you. So that's the concept, the representation of Lee Toy in this labyrinth in Midtown Manhattan, Midtown Toronto, <laughs> not Manhattan, Toronto. Um, this is Hemi Syed with the Toronto and Vancouver, but for today, Toronto City of Labyrinths project at labyrinths.ca. Um, the four colors. I'm getting older, so it's taking me longer to do these things, to finish the work that I start. Um, just as there's two reds, there are two whites of color, there's two yellows, there's the single black, but perhaps the uh, original black that I painted four years ago. Um, my friend Steve, he volunteered and helped me four years ago, so he painted quite a bit of this, um, the original first coat. So I must thank Steve. Uh, thank you, Steve. But beyond that, this is it. I'm done. So this is Hemi Side with the City of Labyrinths project here in the Waiting Pool Labyrinth, the Dish with One Spoon Labyrinth in Midtown Toronto, just southeast of uh, St. Clair West and Bathurst Street in uh, Wells Hill Park. Um, indigenous, uh, um, National Indigenous Day is the longest day of the year, uh, June 21st. Oh yeah, right. Originally, the idea was that I would do this four-color medicine wheel labyrinth in time for the powwow four years ago, 2015, 2016, and uh, I wasn't able to do this. The powwow no longer uh, is held and takes place in this park. It now has been relocated to Fort York. So um, on National Aboriginal Day, Indigenous Peoples Day here in uh, Wells Hill Park. To my knowledge, there is no official activities, but if you find yourself here, um, perhaps you may walk this uh, four color dish with one spoon, medicine wheel, city of labyrinths, labyrinth. Hemi Syed. And um, that's going to do it for me. Happy walking.